just uh, in a broad sense, what did you hear from Bill Barr yesterday? That he very much wants to depoliticize the Department of Justice and bring it back to its origins as a nonpartisan law enforcement agency. He wants to have credibility. He wants to produce the report according to the law. He's not going to be pressured by the president. He's not going to be pressured by the Democrats. He's not going to be pressured by the Republicans. He's going to do it the right way. That's the projected image that he wants to convey. The other He's thing, the right guy to he, do it. He said it wasn't much of a mystery. I think not a mystery was his quote to officials in uh, as to what they were going to receive from Mueller. He, he said they had an inkling as to what the special counsel was thinking. Right. Why would that be important? Well, because you don't want to fall into the situation where you have to make an important decision within 48 hours without having some advanced knowledge. So I'm sure that Barr knew from Mueller what the thrust of the report was going to be. He had time to think about it, time to talk to his aides about it, and time to make the kind of decision that attorney general is supposed to make. Remember, special counsel works for the attorney general. It's the attorney general who is ultimately responsible for deciding how much of the report to release, how to act on it. Remember, it's the attorney general who has the authority to indict, to prosecute, to not prosecute. And so I think he's doing exactly the right thing. Uh, two more questions here. He said Mueller declined to review his summary. Is that significant? Well, I don't know why he would have declined to review it. I guess he wanted to be able to have deniability and say, look, it's the attorney general's characterization. Remember, Mueller has to go back to his own staff. He's worked closely with them for a long time. There are going to be a lot of people on the staff who are going to be very upset. They've already leaked to The New York Times some of their upset, particularly those who dissented from the decision not to prosecute for obstruction. I still stick to what I said a long time ago. This is going to be a very critical report of the president when it comes to obstruction, because there's going to be a group of people who are going to say he obstructed justice. You know one key issue that nobody's raised? Are we going to know the names of the people on each side of, yes, we should uh, charge him with obstruction. No, we shouldn't charge him with obstruction. Are we going to know the, the names individual of names on of the team? prosecutors on the team uh -huh. so that we, the public, can assess whether that's a partisan political decision or a neutral prosecutorial decision? Interesting, the Democrats are calling for complete transparency. I haven't heard them call for the names of people on each side of let's charge him, let's not charge him debate, because that's going to be the headline. Would that help out. us better sort out the political nature of the decision? Yes, the and I, it? you know, it's for me as somebody who's done criminal law for 50 years, it's a terrible question to ask about the partisan nature. Justice Department shouldn't be partisan. It shouldn't be divided over whether you're a pro-Trump, anti-Trump person. You should be able to look at the facts and apply the law to the facts. I don't think that's going to happen. You know, I'm doing an introduction to the Mueller report, so I'm dying to see what it says because I want to get into it in a very detailed way and figure out who's right and who's wrong on the issue of obstruction of justice. Very complicated, very difficult issue. In about an hour, we'll hear more from him uh, when he's for that Senate committee. Sir, thank you. Thank you. Alan Dershowitz in studio. Thanks. Sandra.